Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we're going to discuss another set of topic in mathematics, uh, which is determining or finding the x and y intercepts. So before that, let us define what is the x, the definition of x intercept and y intercept. So the definition for the x intercept, it is the abscissa of the point A0 where a graph intersects the x axis. The y intercept is the ordinate of the point 0b where a graph intersects the y axis so the intercept is the point where the line of a linear equation or the graph of the linear equation intersects both x and y axis so our main goal here is to solve the x and y intercept or to find the x and y intercepts for a linear equation so let us have examples here to be solved in this video okay so we have for number one so negative 3x plus 2y is equals to 12 and for number two we have 2y is equals to negative 8x plus 10 and we have for number three one half x plus 1 8y is equals to 3 so our uh, goal here is to find the x and y intercepts for each of the following uh, given examples. So for number one, in finding the x and y intercept, just always remember that you are going to let your, in finding the x intercept, let your y is equals to zero. So to find the x intercept, to find the x intercept, let y is equals to 0 okay so in this equation negative 3x plus 2y so let me rewrite 3x plus 2y is equals to 12 so just directly substitute you will in order to find the x-intercept you have to let your y is equals to 0 in this equation so you will say you will substitute 0 as the value of your y so you will say negative 3x plus 2 times 0 is equals to 12. Again, where did we get 0? We let our y as equals to 0. So it will become 3x is equals to 12. Since 2 times 0, that is 0. So the remaining expression will be negative 3x is equals to 12. So let us proceed to find the value of your x-intercept. So it is negative, I mean, x is equals to 12 divided by negative 3. Again, where did we get negative 3? We just simply uh, divide 12 by the given uh, constant here beside x. So, x is equal to 12 divided by negative 3. So, our x-intercept is negative 4. So, 12 divided by negative 3, that is negative 4. So, that's it. So, our x-intercept is negative 4. Now to solve for the y-intercept, let uh, to find the y-intercept, let your x is equal to 0. So this is the reverse of x-intercept. So you are going to to get the y-intercept if you are going to get to find the y-intercept then let your x equals to 0 so our equation to be used is negative 3x plus 2y is equals to 12 so since we are going to find the x-intercept I mean the y-intercept so we will let our x is equals to 0 so it will become negative 3 times 0 plus 2y is equals to 12 so negative 3 times 0 that is 0 plus 2y is equals to 12 so 0 we can uh, eradicate it one to make the equation more simple to see or to look at. So 2y is equals to 12. So y is equals to 12 divided by 2. y is equals to 6. So our x-intercept is equals to negative 4. And our y-intercept is equals to 6 so at what point this intercept uh, I mean at what point does the equation intersect 
the x-axis when you are going to graph the equation. So we will just say that at point, uh, the equation intersect at point, at uh, this equation, at uh, this equation, negative 3x plus 2y is equal to 2 have intersect at negative 4, 0, at point negative 4, 0, and at 0, 6. So these are the points where the graph of negative 3x plus 2y is equal to 2 have intersects the y and x axis okay so that is for number one so again the y intercept is uh, six and for num for the x intercept that is negative four so for number two again just directly to find the x intercept find the x intercept uh, let y is equals to zero then substitute the given equation so you will say 2 times 0 is equals to negative 8x plus 10. Okay, so 2 times 0, that is 0, is equals to negative 8x plus 10. Then you are going to transfer this negative 8x in the other side. It will, becomes, it will become positive. It, a, negative 8x becomes positive. It's equals to 10. Why it becomes positive? Since we transferred negative sign to the other side, it becomes positive. So it becomes 8x, positive 8x is equals to 10. Or you can remove the positive sign. So you will say 8x is equals to 10. So to re, uh, our purpose here is to get the x-intercept or the value of your x. So that will become x is equals to 10 over 8. So since 10, 10 over 8 has common factor or common multiple, we have uh, 2. So divide numerator and denominator or 10 and 8 by 2. So you will say 5 over 4 so this is now your x intercept then for y intercept okay for y intercept let of the equation uh, 2y is equals to negative 8x plus 10 so let your x is equals to 0 so 2y is equals to negative 8x plus 10 then let your x equals to 0 then simply substitute 2y is equals to negative 8 times 0 since we will let our x to 0 so plus 10 so you will say 2y is equals to 10 since negative 8 times 0 that is 0 plus 10 so that is why it becomes 10 so we have here 2y is equals to 10 so divide both sides by 2 so cancel out 2 here then y is equals to 10 divided by 2 that is 5 Again, why we divide both sides by 2 so that we can cancel out 2 here. Or you can have this form or y is equals to 10 over uh, 2. Just like what we did here in our first example. But uh, to, more, uh, to have a more understanding about cancellation, so just divide both sides of the equation by what the constant near the variable so which is 2 so that is y cancelled out 2 the remaining variable will be y and in the other side 10 divided by 2 that is 5 so x intercept in the equation the given x, x, uh, equation which is 2y is equals to negative with x plus 10 is we have on um, 5 over 4 and our y intercept is our y intercept is equals to 5. So at what point does the equation defined by 2y is equals to negative 8x plus 10 intersect the x and y axis? So you will just say uh, at point 5, 4, 0 and at point 0, 5. Okay, so in these are the points where the graph of 2y is equals to negative 8x plus 10 intersects the x and y axis okay so let us proceed for the example number three so we have here the x intercept for number three it is uh, quite confusing because it involves fractional uh, what equals this one fractional form of 
the numerical coefficient of x and y. So you have x intercept, let y is equals to 0. So since 1 half x plus 1 8 y is equals to 3, let your y equal to 0 to get the x intercept. So you will say 1 half x plus 1 over 8 times 0 is equals to 3. So 1 half x is equals to 3. Since 1 8 times 0 that is 0. So it will be eradicate. So you will say uh, x over 2 is equals to 3. 1 half x over 2. I mean 1 half x is equals to 3 and x over 2 is equals to 3 are all the same. These two uh, equations in the here are all the same. So you can express 1 over 1 half x equals to 3 in x over 2 is equals to 3. So to get the x intercept just simply cross multiply. Our 3 here is automatically over 1. So multiply x times 1. x times 1 that is x. Then 2 times 3, that is 6. So our x-intercept is 6. Then our y-intercept, to find, this is our x-intercept, which is 6. Let x is equal to 0. So to find the y-intercept of the equation 1 half x plus 1, 8 y is equal to 3, let x is equal to 0. So 2, I mean 1 half x plus, sorry for this, 1, 8, y is equals to 3 then 1 half times 0 plus 1 over 8 y is equals to 3 so 1 8 y is equals to 3 again you can express 1 over 8 y is equals to 3 as y over 8 is equals to 3 this one 1 8 y is equals to 3 or you can write that one as y over 8 equals to 3 then over 1 so y times 1 that is y then a times 3 that is 24. So this is now our uh, y-intercept. So our x-intercept for the uh, equation 1 half x plus y 8y is equal to 3 is 6 and our y-intercept is 24. So at what point does the graph of the equation 1 half x plus 1 8y is equal to 3 intersect the bo both x and y axis is at point six zero and at point zero twenty four so here so i hope you understand about the process on gating or finding the getting the uh, getting and finding the x and y intercept and determining at what point of the graph does the x and y or the graph of a certain equation intersect or crosses the y and x axis so that's all for this video i hope you understand on how to find and solve for the x and y intercept just stay updated for my next video and get blessed everyone keep safe <laughs>